Hey, what's up, Dan Wires, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking sedum plants today, and we're going to show you what to do during the fall season prior to winter. Let's get started. All right, Dan Wires, it is November 1st, and those sedum plants have bloomed. Late bloomers, again, fall bloomers. And we are just shy, about a minute or two, from a professional company flushing our entire drip line system. And scrolling above is a drip line system overview. As you can see, there it goes. And DIYers, what I'm going to do is leave these sedum plants as is for the winter, and we will see you in the spring. Middle of winter update, as you can see, with the snow on the ground, and something really cool about the snow, you get to see how much activity goes on at night when you're sleeping. Got a lot of deer tracks and other tracks. Animals cruising the yard while we're sleeping. Don't get to see this in the summertime. All right, DIYers outside, and this is a beautiful spring morning, and it just previously rained. It is early April, and you can see early life at the roots of the sedum plants. And again, we did not clip these away because I want to show you the cycle of the actual sedum plants and how they grow. So again, during the fall, most people clip the tips and unfortunately, some people just rip them out. I want to show you why you do not want to do that. Let's go over to here. And I grabbed one just to show you in the event that you just pull all of these sedum stems out at the roots during the fall, here's what you're going to miss out on you are going to miss out on fresh new life at the root. As you can see here, this is completely removed from the root and I will set that aside. So what I recommend is grabbing your clippers and just clipping about a half an inch above the grade or soil line. And we will do that now. And again, just come all the way down to about a half an inch above the grade and snip the old stems. And you are going to do this preferably in the fall as opposed to the spring because this is what it will look like in the springtime when the new life begins to grow at the roots. Again, you want all these stems cut below the new life of sedum plants as it grows up. So again, I will continue cutting all of these sedum stems out. Make a progress DIYers. I cut all the old stems away and dispose of them. And again, just be careful as you're cutting these because in the event that you accidentally go to the root of the stem and cut a bunch of new life away, you're setting your sedum plant back about a month or two because these take a very long time to get to the point where they are blooming. And these are basically fall bloomers. So you plant them in the spring or they come up as established plants as you see here in the spring and they grow all summer long. And at the very end of the summer into the fall, they begin to bloom and we will show you the stages throughout the summer. And while we wait for that, what I will do is post down below in the comment section as well as the description section, the cycle of peonies, as well as the cycle of knockout rose bushes. And in the event that you have hydrangeas, there will also be a link down below in the comment section as well as description section on how to maintain your hydrangeas and apply an acidifier to change the color of the bloom flowers. So definitely check that out. Two week update DIYs on the sedum plants. Healthy growth, as you can see, we've been lucky. It has been raining and then there are a few sunny days and then it rains again. So very healthy. We'll give you an update here in a few weeks. Two week update and the sedums are doing well. They're very healthy. And again, I only have two throughout the entire garden, but they're healthy, they're beautiful. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of sun, and combination over irrigation system helping out the growth. We'll show you another two week update here in two weeks. Two week update DIYers on the sedum plants and they're doing well. That one's about eight inches tall. This one is really kind of extending outward and growing very well in a very healthy manner. And again, these are very late bloomers. We will not see bloom flowers on these sedum plants until, well, basically the fall. Two week update, just a little taller, a little wider. So far, so good. Two week update on the sedum plant and just a little bit taller. Not much has changed. Starting to clean up our garden and we've got some cucumbers, some onions, some tomatoes, and a few other things. This is actually three week update here, just taller. Here it is, DIYer. Significant difference on a two week update. Check this out. Not much growth with a plant as far as height and width. However, 
all of these are going to bloom as time goes on. This is now a one month update. As you can see, make a progress. Two week update and a lot more pronounced as you can see. And some bees in there pollinating, which is a good thing.